guys, I'm Dee, it stands for Dorky, and today we're going to be making, and I hope I say this right, eat a bag. Um, so we're going to decorate it actually. I don't know why I said making it. Here it is. <laughs> It is a pumpkin one, so it's perfect for Halloween time. So let's get started, okay? All right, so first off, here are what we need. At least this is what I think we need. Scissors, we need some cardboard, we need some felt or some other kind of fabric. I am going to try to use um, some furry black fabric. I don't know if that's going to work. We shall see, we shall test it out together. And we're gonna need some like keychains, some pins. Um, what else, what else? Oh, hot glue and hot glue gun would be preferable. Some measuring tape maybe? We'll see, we'll see how this goes. So first off, we We'll take our scissors, our measuring tape, and our boxy. Here is our box. I have like a horde of boxes because I like feel like, oh my God, I can never get rid of the boxes because I might, might need them. And then we have the bag. So we need to measure inside the bag so that we have a actual, you know, template to cut this box into I don't know words are hard and it doesn't need to be perfect it's 11 so the height is 11 and across is about eight so let's go ahead and get that done maybe we needed a pen do I have a pen no we'll just we'll just wing it you know what's good nails we'll just make a little line <laughs> yeah perfect and then we'll go ahead and do you know what i should have done it like this honestly let's do it like this so 11 by 8 so do here i'm like the best i'm like the best diy person ever can you tell like can you tell like i am just the best diy person ever all right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to just cut this. This box might not even work. Let's just wing it, okay? <laughs> when in doubt, just try to wing it. <laughs> All right, let's see if this fits because like, if it doesn't, who cares? Okay, so here it is in comparison. The problem is, is that in the bag, it's kind of narrow up here because the bag turns at a point. So then the entrance is smaller than the actual piece. And we want to create a sturdy backing for the piece. So I don't know what to do about that. Let's try to shove this in because it is already like, like um, curved. Oh my God, it might work out for a benefit, but that is curved. <gasps> perfect, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> it's perfect. <gasps> awesome, awesome blossom. All right, that's so cool. That's so cool, guys, that was like perfect. So I'm gonna do fur in it, like not fur fur, but like mock fur. And so that's gonna take up some space, so I wanted to make sure that obviously there's some space in there for the thickness of the fur. So you can use like felt. Felt is really cheap. You can put it on there. I just wanted something, I don't know, a little bit more funky, a little bit more, um, I don't know, cool. I do have the felt though in case, in case this goes bad. So. Basically, we got some flux fur. It is black. Um, they come in a wide variety of colors. You can get them at um, Hobby Lobby. You can get them at uh, Michael's. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. So here it is. It does suck because like it does need to go this way. Like it needs to go a certain way. And so we're going to have to fold it in on the top and bottom and then 
glue it down like, like that. So that's gonna be like a pain and it's going to be fun at the same time, you know? Maybe we should cut it a little bit more. I mean, it fit perfectly, but like, like if we cut it a little bit more, it will be easier to glue. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if that helps. Oh yeah, that helps a little bit. Let's go ahead and straighten this out a little bit because I didn't do well. So basically, let's go ahead and plug in the hot glue gun and get to gluing this. So we're just going to glue her up. Put her back strategically somehow onto our cool area over there. We're gonna stick our felt or fur or whatever you want down. I hate hot glue. Ah! So we're gonna go ahead and keep going. We're gonna do the other side. Now we have on the other side a nice, a nice fur right here. Flux fur, flux fur, anybody flux fur? It just sits here getting wasted. I don't under, I don't understand. Like, am I missing the magical hot glue gun that just has an off and on button? Like, can someone link that to me? I don't know. Not that I've ever really searched for one, but I've always just gone into a store and grabbed a hot glue gun if I needed one. And they never have like an on and off button when I purchase them. It's never like something I think to look for either. It's like, oh, just grab one, keep going. And then it just like happens when you need to plug it in where you're like, oh yeah, it doesn't have an off and on button. <sighs> I forgot about that fact. So we have way too many enamel pins. We definitely got enough. Um, so I'm just going to pick which ones I actually probably want on, in the bag or on the bag and move from there. So let's go ahead and try and place things. <laughs> I think the most important one is the Cryptic Coven Creations Mothman. It was the first one I just fell in love with and I had to have. So. Let's go ahead and place that one somewhere. It is a huge one too. It is going to take up a lot of space. I'm nervous now. I'm nervous now because the box is really thick. I don't know, hold on. So I just punched this Mothman through and the box is so thick that I can barely fit the like backing of it. So I'm nervous now. Shoot. 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, let me show y'all guys. So here is the back. You can barely, barely see where those, where the holes are. So I'm kind of scared about the backings. Yeah, they're not staying. Oh, shoot. It was just too thick, I think. Damn it. How do we fix that? <laughs> I already glued everything. Do we care? You know what? You know what? We're just gonna go in and we're going to go on the sides and put it before the cardboard because like, I don't feel like that's that bad of an idea. <laughs> I mean, other than that, it's like start all over. So now that I kind of fixed or avoided that issue, <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and try to put everything in its place now. Um, we can totally punch through the cardboard and then adjust and make everything better afterwards. So 
frustrated. I think if the board was better, it would be so much better because every time I punch down everything, it feels okay. Like the fur feels like it's staying and like being pushed down or held down by the pins. But as soon as I lift it up to actually plug it in spot, it like moves around like crazy. And then the fur gets like weird on top of the pin versus like being held down by the pin. And then it's just frustrating. I'm just frustrated, but I think it's gonna look cute. Hopefully I'll figure it out. So here is the finished uh, pumpkin area of enamel pins. I really like how it came out, but I obviously had some frustrations. I would suggest trying to find enamel pins or pins that um, have like two prongs or two needles in the back because directionally that is easier because you're trying to make like a shape basically. And I find that the ones that have only one needle in the back tend to swim around and then therefore mess up the thought process. So like for instance, the skull and it kind of moves around a lot and it annoys me. This cat does that as well. Um, the boba does that as well. So those things are kind of just, I don't know how to fix that. You know, like that's how I want the cat, right? But it's going to wiggle down and also fur or flux fur is like kind of slick so then it wiggles even more okay so let's move on to keychains now i don't understand how some Eda bags just come with no placement to put a bunch of keychains like there should be like a little key honestly there should be like four keychain things here like you sh it, this should be so punk rocky looking like there should just be d-rings all the way down here and d-rings all the way down here so you could put like 20 keychains like that's how it's supposed to be to me like you're supposed to pimp this thing out um but the only places we have to put a keychain on are these two zippers maybe this handle and these areas right here um so let's let's try to put keychains on i actually have two for this project so the first one i have is this girl i've had her for many years and then the other keychain i want to try to put on here is the uh light up witch from Bath and Body Works. I had to really think about how to say that. So here we go. The reason I want to put this one on there is because I want something to hold my hand sanitizer. I guess for this, we'll do a zipper, which I hate doing it on a zipper basically because of the fact that um, I feel like when it's a zipper, you pull on it a lot. So then you're like ripping at your art. I hate that. And that's why I'm like, it should have a bunch of D rings on the side. So you don't mess up your keychains. Like the whole point of this is so that you don't lose your um, enamel pins. And then you have like no place for your keychains to be secure. Why? So there's that. And then I guess for, <laughs> I don't know where to put this. Maybe here on the bottom. Let's see. All right. I feel so nervous because I guess that is a good spot because you can just like lean over and grab it. So we put the witch over here on the bottom one and that's all i'm gonna do i really like how it turned out i'll get some b shots but it is super super cute i think i did a good job considering this is my first Eda bag that i've ever made um and it'll probably be my last because <laughs> it was kind of annoying i don't know i have no patience today so 
hopefully y'all like it. Um, I'll put in how it looks on me here. Um, hopefully it looks cute. I spent like an hour on this. Uh, that is frustrating. <laughs> Alright guys, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.